Привет. Привет. Найджел, it is nice to see you here, and um, you are originally from UK. Why did you decide to move from UK to Belgium? Because uh, the UK is a class society with not much opportunities for people who come from the wrong class, like me, without the without the. Um, university degrees or anything so that was me so I moved here to get a job basically at the beginning and then I stayed here because then I thought Belgium was a democratic country <laughs> but I know you criticize a lot about yeah. both societies yeah yeah is that good uh -oh. what uh, do you dislike it's not that I don't do I, 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 I like humans but um, it's not dislike, it's like not being able to understand why we still do the same strange stuff time after time and we never seem to learn from history. It's like um, we destroy each other and we know we're going to destroy each other and it knows, there never seems to be a way we can stop ourselves destroying each other. It's like we know if you invade another country you're going to call shit for the next 200 years and yet we still do it. It's like what the Americans and the English started to do in Iraq. The Russians have done it before us in Afghanistan. Um, Americans have done it in Vietnam. The British have done it all over the world. That sort of stuff. I dislike racism. I dislike class society where people don't get a chance because of the color of their skin or because of um, their social status. All that sort of stuff. I, I believe in just m more equality. Although I don't believe in God, I'm more of a Christian than most Christians. So, and um, as for the problem of Islamization? Yeah. Is that a problem? Uh, I don't know. People say they, we, they seem to be trying to scare us that, um, that Islam is taking over Europe at the moment. And I don't give, really give a shit, you know. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a religion which is in... Um, if you want to look at it in a funny way, the way, is I, the way I always try to look at stuff, Islam started about five or six hundred years after Christians, so they got another five or six hundred years to catch up on. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the way we were Christians six hundred years ago, I, mean, I think Islam's quite civilized actually. Um, but on a serious note, it's a religion which is in, in um, confusion because it's, 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 it gets confronted with the modern society and modern society refutes everything the religion says so you're going to have a lot of turmoil and then you get extremism and after the extremism you get moderates and that's what they're just going through at the moment and we have to, we have to be careful for extremists and all the rest of it but has that ever been different? We have to be careful for fascist extremists in our own country as well so it's, uh, it's always the extremists who are only about maybe five percent of the whole religion, if that. But uh, after Charlie Hebdo, uh, yeah. people in Europe are afraid to joke about Islam or... Well, were people after the guy in Norway, uh, Breivik, after he slaughtered so many people, were we afraid of Christians all of a sudden? We weren't. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a form of racism as well. It's not because um, three or four idiot uh, Islamic fundamentalists decide to go and kill a whole uh, bunch of people at a newspaper. They're, they're all Islamic people think that way. It's not because Andres Breivik thinks he should kill socialists, that we should be frightened of Christians because they're going to kill socialists then. So you should never let yourself get... Um, involved in too much of this media hype thing as well. You should look at it real, you know what I mean? Because the media and the governing pe the governing bodies of Europe also have an interest in splitting up the working class. So if they can split them up into um, the, the white working class who distrust the brown working class, then, then it's the end of solidarity. And so that's the way you get beat all the time. Uh, today I've heard that uh Bart De Wever uh, has Bart De Wever, yeah. uh, received uh, a threat from an uh, Islamist. Oh yeah, was it from Islam? Because yeah. I'd send him a threat as well, <laughs> if he wants one. But is that true? Do we know? Has, that been, has it been proved? You know what I mean? I, don't, I, distrust, politi I distrust right wing politicians. Um, and so, I, well, so maybe one person phoned and gave him a threat. Is that, I mean, why are we so... I don't know, why are we so uh, 
frightened? Why are we so afraid? I mean, I could pick up the phone and threaten whoever I want. I mean, it's just a phone call away. Does that mean there's a whole movement behind me ready to take over Belgium? No, it fucking doesn't. It just means I'm an idiot. You know? So, you know, idiot things happen. Yes, but after the attacks... Uh... Yeah, people are more... Uh, pe I mean, we have, we have the biggest police force in Europe basically Antwerp. We have more policemen per head of uh, population in most places in Europe. Nothing really happens here, you know what I mean? Um, we've had the so say Islamic threat to, towards the Jews in Antwerp for the last three or four months. Nothing's happened. Um, nothing's, no plans have been foiled. Um, although there is a threat, I'm not, I'm not saying there is no threat. There probably is a threat, but it's, it's, it's not worse than it ever has been. And, and, and it's always in society, in the upper classes' interest to get us scared. If we're scared, then we will we will stop protesting about other things as well. You are a very social, active person. And Not really, you, no. But you you'd like to change the society in a better way. I like way. society to be a little bit more intelligent. I like to, I'd like to be society to be as intelligent as our, our phones. So a little bit more logic, because. Um, I don't know. I'd look at it this way. All the refugees who are dying in the, in the Mediterranean at the moment, on boats, if they were white, they would all be saved. Okay? Simple as that. If, if all those migrants on the boats in the Mediterranean were dying, were Jewish people, they'd all be saved. Right? If they were Americans, they would all be saved. If they were British, Italian, Spanish, even Russian, they would all be saved. They're not, so we let them die. And that's racism. That's Europe. Simple as that. Okay, but Europe uh, gives uh, um, asylum for a lot of well, people. Well, Europe started the shit off. I mean, Europe decided to start bombing Libya, right? So, so you create you create shit, and then you have to help clean it up. I think, yeah. And so let the, let the refugees in. I, I have no problems with refugees coming to Europe. I think we need new blood. What, what is the main problem in Antwerp you would like to change? Um, racism. Okay. Racism, 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 racism. There's too much of it. Can racism. you give me some examples of institutional racism? You don't even have to have an example. Just go and sit on a tram and watch, uh, watch a tram driver. If a, if a black woman is, is running towards the tram, trying to get the tram, you just drive off. Uh, people will not let a, a black person sit next to them on the tram. And watch that. So it's horrible little petty racism. That's that stuff. Okay. I mean, if our Minister of Foreign Affairs can walk through the streets of Brussels, blacked up like an African, and he doesn't think that's racist, end of story. How should they deal with this? this Learn the language racism? and fight back. Learn the language and fight back through language. Talk to people. So people get to know you. Don't live in a ghetto. You know what I mean? Yeah. Move amongst the people. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much. See you, mate. Thanks. Bye. Bye.